Well, hello, my sunshiny friends. How are we? I feel like it's been a minute. Um, so today I am going to share with you some things I have purchased over the course of my journey with Zetbound um, and if I would purchase them again and if they may or may not be good purchases for someone else on their journey. Um, so behind me is some things that I have purchased and I will let you know if, um, you know, how they've worked out for me, basically. So we're in the kitchen today because I've got some stuff here spread out on my table. So first and foremost, we're just going to go right in with it. So this is my medication. This is Zetbound. This is five milligrams. This is what I'm currently taking. Um, I know that I am one of the lucky ones. My medication costs me currently $30 per month. It is covered by insurance. I know that it can cost some people $550 or upwards of close to $1,300 if they're paying out of pocket. Um, so it can be very pricey. For me personally, this is a commitment that I have committed to. I have actually just signed on for a new position within the same place that I've been working so that I plan on this being my retirement job and I will be able to keep my current insurance so that going forward, I should be able to have that insurance that is covering the current medication, if that makes sense to you. So um, I am taking Zepbound, which is trizepatide. It's a GLP-1 medication that helps with chronic obesity. Um, and definitely would purchase again, will continue to purchase, will purchase it as long as um, my insurance company lets me. So definitely on my purchase list, will do again. One thing I do want to say to anyone beginning this journey is don't run out and buy all the things. Take it gradually because in the beginning I went shopping and I bought a bunch of snacks and stuff and I've showed you guys some previous videos. I showed you the video where I bought the snacks and I've shown you some updated videos where some of those things are still sitting in my closet um, and maybe I'll go over some of that at the end. So yeah, first and foremost, my medication. Definitely 100% would do again. Um, this is the Renfo scale. So this is the scale that I currently use and I needed a new scale. I wasn't convinced that my scale was accurate. It was different than the school scale where I use um, the nurse's office scale the doctor's office. So I wanted to start fresh with something. So this is the Renfo scale and this actually goes right to the Renfo app in my phone and keeps everything right there. So 100% would purchase the Renfo app, uh, would purchase the Renfo scale again. I think it's like $30, the Renfo scale and um, install the app on your phone. That is an absolute, for me, that was a must. So the Renfo app is on my phone, keeps my weight. Every time I weigh in, it goes right to my phone, it goes ding, and it, it keeps everything in there. So it has my weight, it has my BMI, it has all of those things that you need. And I also have downloaded on my phone, I use my net diary, which is what I use for tracking for my food, my protein and all of that. And my Renfo, app actually syncs with my net diary so it calculates my um my weight and my bmi so that if there's a change and it needs to recalculate my calorie intake for my calorie deficit it will automatically do that for me so would definitely purchase the renfo scale again and definitely download the renfo app and some type of an app that it would also connect to. So my net diary works great. I think my fitness pal, you know, there's others, but I use my net diary and I've had success with that. So would definitely do again. This is the Renfo tape measure. Now this tape measure also connects to the same app. I didn't have to get a separate app. So I figured, well, I've got the scale, I like the scale, it's on the app. This would also go on my app. I bought this too, not a fan. Um, so you'll see it come on. 
<clears throat> when you open it up, <coughs> excuse me, it comes on and then you have to actually tell it if it's going to be centimeters, inches, what it's going to be in. But then you have to like get it to where it needs to be clicked in here and then you press a button and it's supposed to tighten around. I'm not getting accurate readings from this at all. I felt like it should have been more accurate, but I'm just, I'm not getting accurate readings and it was stressing me out. So I just went back to my tape measure that I use, like, I don't even know if I ever use that. This was in my sewing kit. Um, and this is what I've been using. And this is where all of my numbers are coming from. It might not be 100% accurate, but at least I know that's user error and it's as accurate as it's gonna be. I just, I'm not a fan of the other one. I it definitely wasn't taking accurate measurements from what I was seeing. So in my opinion, not a fan. I'm curious if any of you have gotten it and um, if you like it or not. I just personally, for me, wasn't a fan. So maybe, you know, if you already have something in your house, shop your house first. That would be my opinion. So I wish I hadn't have wasted money on that. Um, let's see. So you guys can see, I definitely use these. I have one left and acid chews. These were the particular ones that I liked in the beginning. When you are on a GLP-1, gastric issues can be really problem so problematic. Um, if I ate something that didn't agree with me in the very beginning, I would need to take these. Um, obviously I took a lot of them because there's only one left and there's 60 in here. So I have used them. I haven't used them in quite some time. In the very beginning, I was using them more regularly, but I think as you start to realize what your body can and can't handle and what you should and shouldn't be eating, um, you get into that routine and you start to realize you know, what you're doing and it becomes less, at least that's for me. Um, some people you know, may have more prolonged issues with their stomach, but I personally like these antacid chews. They also have calcium in them but these seem to work quicker than just like a Tums or a Rolaids or something like that. So I definitely will still keep those on hand. I just don't need them right now. Um, so here's another one that I'm kind of in the middle. I'm not 100% sure. You guys know if you've been watching me for a while, I, I really like the magnesium, I swear by it. However, I'm terrible taking things on a regular basis, which is why I like the auto pen so much because it's once a week and I still tend to forget sometimes like what day it is and I didn't take it but I really have a hard time taking daily medications so I do definitely think that I saw the effects of it and it was really great when I take it I just forget and I keep saying I'm going to get back on track with it and I haven't but magnesium is really really helpful for sleeping and for muscle aches and stuff like that um so I'm kind of in the middle. I used it in the beginning and then I've stopped and I keep meaning to use it again. Um, so I don't know. If you're having a lot of issues, then it might be something you know really beneficial for you. So I'm kind of on the fence about that one, even though I swear by it. But I do also have magnesium in my electrolytes, which brings me to my drip drop. This is the electrolyte that I have at least once a day, sometimes twice a day. It has magnesium and other electrolytes in it. So I am getting my magnesium. So maybe that's why I'm not taking the pills as much because my body doesn't need it because I am getting daily magnesium with my drip drop. This is on my grocery order um, weekly. And I actually, one of you wonderful people had commented that it is on Amazon and the price ended up being like a couple of cents less a package if I bought it on Amazon. So I will probably be doing that this week because I am down to my final four because I have not done grocery shopping yet this week coming back from our little mini vacation. So drip drop or some type of electrolyte um, is a must have. And many of them, you know, people don't like the flavor of them. I know that there's some people who are like pushing really expensive ones that they're getting a kickback for. 
Um, I'm not, this just happens to be the one that I like that doesn't taste like Gatorade because I don't really like that flavor and I can, I can drink. So definitely some type of electrolyte for sure. Um, which brings me to my water. Now, <laughs> this is controversial for sure. Um, I have a Stanley, but I bought that before, um, I bought it before Christmas but I wasn't really using it. So it wasn't until this journey that I started using it. So I didn't feel like I should put it in here, but I do have that. However, it was a dupe from TikTok and it cost me less than $6. So, you know, I didn't buy a 30 or $40 Stanley. However, I did buy this guy. It's a little bit smaller and it's from where I go on vacation. So it just makes me happy and it's purple and it has my electrolytes in it. So definitely would spend money on some type of a water vessel that you, um, maybe just one that makes you happy that you, you know, want to have in your hand to help you with your water consumption. Cause anything that I can get to help me with my water consumption, the better. Which brings me to another, um, as some of you may have seen in a couple of videos before, I had gotten the Apple Watch. You may notice that I don't have the Apple Watch on now. I just didn't like it. And it was nothing about the watch specifically or the apps that I had on it. It just, I don't know if it's just the way, this bone right here, you can kind of see where it sticks out. This is right where it was resting and it just, was driving me nuts and I was going to switch the band and buy another band and I was like you know what like why put more money into it I had it was $50 I had gotten it from a friend's daughter um she had upgraded hers so she sold it to me and you know it wasn't the biggest investment but my son had his eye on it from the second I brought it home and after a couple of days, it just was bothering me. I didn't like the way it made me sweat. I used it when I was walking. It was sweaty. I just, it just wasn't for me. So I gave it to my son. So um, I think that is really going to be person dependent, whether or not you use something to track or not. So I do still have my phone. I put the drink water app on my phone. It tells me to drink water, it like flashes to drink water. I just, I'm always not near my water when it happens. So I'm still a work in progress as far as my water goes. I have a massive headache right now and it's probably from my lack of electrolytes even though I did have one package at work today. Um, so yeah, for me personally, the watch or some type of a tracker didn't work out. For somebody else, I'm sure it would be a phenomenal purchase. Um, just like I said, not for me. Um, another not for me, and again, this is subjective as with everything here. Um, I showed you guys this in a previous video. I bought this because they didn't have what I needed. I was gonna return it, I didn't return it. I put it in my refrigerator figuring, and eh, at least it'll be there if I need it. And it's still in my refrigerator. So this particular brand was not a fan of at all. However, these I can get on board with. So this particular, this is the Equate. This is the vanilla. I use this in my coffee every single morning. I do maybe this much in my coffee with a splash of Coffee Mate. I'm not gonna show you that because that's something I've been using for 24 years, 25 years already. Um, and that is my coffee. It's my protein coffee in the morning. So, um, also the Fairlife, so this one I bought by accident or on accident, I usually buy the core protein, which is 26 grams of protein um, and about 170 calories. This is just the Fairlife protein, it's 30 with 150 calories. It's not as delicious as the core, the core is very thick and chocolatey. This one is a little less thick, um, but I still have been drinking it. I'm I'm okay drinking it. So either way, but Fair Life for me, 100% the way to go. And the Equate, now ironically, 
the Fairlife Vanilla, I did not enjoy as much as the Equate Vanilla for my coffee. Um, they do have this in chocolate, strawberry, and caramel. I did get the caramel for my coffee, also did not enjoy that. Vanilla is my, is my jam. Um, I'm not gonna bore you guys, cause you know what's coming. I swear by these, um, the Benefiber Prebiotic Fiber Supplements. I take these, two of these, at least twice a day. It's supposed to be three times. Sometimes I take them three, sometimes I take them two. But it definitely helps me with my regularity and keeping things going because the GLP ones do slow down your gastric, your stomach emptying really it makes it so that you're not going to the bathroom as much. This helps me to keep all of that moving. I absolutely love them um, and I keep these on hand. I actually just bought another one. I went to the office today and I brought them to work and put them in my drawer so I have them. So if I forget here, I at least have them there to try to help me stay on top of it because once you find something that's working, stay with it because when you don't, I forgot when I was away the last few days and by the second day, my stomach was doing some things and it can be very uncomfortable. So definitely find some type of fiber, prebiotic, probiotic, something to keep things moving in your stomach. These are my go-to. I absolutely love them. Um, another thing that I did purchase um, were these little containers for fruits. So I purchased a three pack. This is the small one. There's a medium and a large, but those are in my refrigerator because I do use them. And this is to wash berries and fruits of that nature. And it just makes it easier. It keeps them fresh or longer. So this was an Amazon purchase. I absolutely love these. And um, you know, your fresh fruits and vegetables are key on this journey. So this is a way to keep them fresher longer. And then one final thing, again, this might be subjective. There's a lot of talk out there about collagen, collagen, collagen. I am not currently taking a collagen um, supplement or powder or anything like that, but the last couple of times I've been buying face moisturizer, I have been purchasing with collagen. So the first one that I purchased was a Walmart brand. I was out of that, so last week I was at Walmart and I specifically went looking for another collagen face cream. And this was L'Oreal, this is collagen moisture filler. And I was actually able to get three of them um, on clearance. So I have two like as a backup and it feels great on my skin. I don't know if we're seeing a difference or not, but it makes me feel like, I, like I'm doing something <laughs> because um, when you're on a weight loss journey, you know, losing face tightness and all of the things, I'm just trying to stay ahead of it a little tiny bit, you know? So yeah, that is some things that I have purchased. Oh, one more <laughs> that I'm kind of ashamed of, but you guys know if nothing else, I'm always honest with you maybe don't right away go out and purchase exercise equipment. So as some of you may or may not know, I did buy a bike. I love the bike. I put the bike together myself. So proud of myself that I did that. And um, it's a great bike. I am just not there yet. I'm not regularly doing the things I need to do. I'm still having a lot of trouble um, with my knee, post knee surgery. I, I am not making excuses, I'm not. I'm walking when I can, I do that with my girlfriend instead. So, and I was originally, I was back and forth, like was I gonna buy the bike, was I gonna buy a walking pad, which one was I gonna do? And I ended up with the bike, I don't know. So my thought would be just don't run out there right away and buy all the things. Give yourself grace, give yourself time and ease into it. First and foremost is getting used to the medication and then getting your brain kind of 
trained with some of these new habits that we're supposed to be you know implementing or that we're trying to implement so i'm still working through all of that i have an appointment tomorrow with a dietitian to go over you know some of my goals and some other ways to to do things and i will you know obviously do a video on that to fill you guys in on how that goes so as important as exercise is work maybe in the beginning on getting some movement in before you just jump into everything. You don't want to change your entire life, diet, medication, exercise all at once. I wouldn't do it that way. And I'm not doing it that way. This is a lifelong journey for me. And I know that this is where I'm going to be for the next 40 years. Um, so I'm okay doing it slowly. I don't need to lose 150 pounds overnight. You know, I, I'm doing it slowly and I'm doing it my way and that's working better for me. So I'm making these small changes and um, we'll just doing it one day at a time, one step at a time. So those are some things that I have bought that have been, you know, fails, misses, hits for me. Um, maybe you will have some luck with some of the things that I have purchased. If you have had something that has been, oh my God, mind blowing, can't live without it now that I have it, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know um, what all of those things are that you guys have had that has been helping you to be successful as well. So I think that's going to about do it for now. If I think of anything else, I will definitely let you know as it comes up. So for now, if you enjoyed this video at all, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody that you think may enjoy it as well. If you are new here, I'd love it if you would subscribe and stick around with us. For everybody else, we'll see you real soon. Bye.